Good evening and Ramadan Kareem to you all. I'm your host, Lara Saman, here to bring you exciting segments featuring great guests, events from around the kingdom as we celebrate the holy month. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Ramadan is not complete unless you indulge into some yummy and sweet treats. Our next guest is a passionate baker that is here to showcase some amazing homemade and organic ingredients that are both delicious and guilt-free. Please welcome Sara El Biblio. Hi Sara, welcome to our studio today. Thanks for having me. So, can you tell us Sara, how did your passion and career start? It started in my childhood. Um, I remember that I was cutting out the picture of pastries and uh, uh, all the recipes and putting them in a folder. My mom was encouraging me to do that and uh, yeah, I believe it started from a young age. Mm. And if you could go back, how old do you think you were when you first baked something or cooked something as well? Yeah, I remember a uh, strawberry jelly cake. It was a failure <laughs> and so messy, but uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> so, and maybe that's why I wanted to make it work. So I tried again and again until I made until it. Until you made it and got it correct, yeah. correct as, exactly as how the you picture. Yeah, yeah, because I liked the picture. Not the, I didn't taste it, but I liked the picture. and I wanted it to be perfect. So. And would you say that you've tried to bake so many things and it didn't work, and then you just kept going on until it did work? Yes, that's correct. It was uh, maybe yeah. I, I was having the passion. <laughs> it's just because <laughs> of the passion made yeah. you want to do it more. <laughs> and what would you say makes you unique and special and different from everybody else? Um, what makes the cakes I make special and the products uh, is that I, l I bake with its ingredients. Uh, without good ingredients you cannot have a good product, a uh, final product. So I believe it's the ingredients I choose and also the details. Uh, I use natural product. I'm not a cake designer, so I, with all the respect, uh, I'm not doing figures on the cakes. So you're not but using I the, use the sugar and the marzipan and... Yeah, I use fruits, uh, I use herbs, I use nuts to decorate my cakes or to make it look nice and natural. So I feel I'm creative a bit. Yeah, uh, it's the creativity I I it into is. it as well, of yeah. course. Because like you said, you're not making stick figures, so you have to make your cake look beautiful in different ways without using that type of sugar. Exactly, so uh, with, with the natural ingredients you make your cakes looks nice and uh, yeah. <laughs> and what would you say is your inspiration when you get into the kitchen? So when you get there, what inspires you to bake different things? Well, um, the challenge is sometimes there's very traditional recipes, maybe very basic for everybody else, but I never baked it before or I never did it before. So I feel like, oh yeah, I want to try it. I want to make it. Also, I want to make nice memories for my children in the house. So the smell of the house, I want to be inspiring for them. So that they walk in and they smell fresh baked goods and Yeah, and bread. So this, all of this is memory. So they will al always remember the smell. They will always remember the atmosphere in the kitchen. And I want to inspire them uh, when they see um, a successful model. So that's what keep me keeps going. me going. Keeps you going. What would you say, since you've recently moved to Bahrain, what, would you, what do you think of the Bahraini culinary field? Well, I believe that Bahraini and Khaliji in general are very, the, the cuisine is very diversified. Yes. Uh, the location of Bahrain is an island uh, and have so many neighbors. Um, I feel it's very open to other cultures and it's also, the, the cuisine itself, it's, it's diversified, has lots of flavors and very rich. Very rich flavors yeah. and a lot of spices as well. Yeah. Um, can you tell us please, what did you bring with us, uh, bring with you today? I brought um, pistachio raspberry cake, uh, blueberry ramen and blackberry, macaron, uh, waffles, we call it gaufre de Liège, it's from a special place called Liège, okay. and uh, spéculoos, it's a famous uh, Belgian biscuit. It's a very famous yeah. Belgian biscuit, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and kramik, it's also um, Belgian bread, uh, it's basically brioche okay. uh, with uh, chocolate and uh, sugar pearls. Okay, nice. Wow, a brioche with chocolate and sugar pearls. That sounds very... Yeah. <laughs> yeah in my mind, I'm imagining it. <laughs> um, what would you say are challenges that you faced in your career and how did you overcome them? 
Well, I am a mom of three, so it was not easy. Priority comes for the family first. So sometimes I have to postpone some projects, some uh, dreams, <laughs> but um, uh, I, I believe like uh, they worth it's worth it. Uh, the other challenge is traveling a lot with my husband. He's moving from a country to another. So uh, always moving around makes it more challenging, yeah. of course. So establish a business was a bit hard. But um, it also gave me th the strength. Um, I was open to try lots of um, new recipes, new, no new cultures. So of course, I feel like it's taught you, because being around exactly. the world, it's taught you different flavors of different countries. Exactly. More than what you'd see online or read online. You, you're there, you're present, so you get to try even with the spices and everything, of exactly. course. Exactly. So it was a challenge and also a blessing in the same time. And also, I, I discovered I'm, I'm a bit flexible. <laughs> so <laughs> Something so new I you didn't learn. know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I have started in several countries. I was just having my oven my creativity and that's it so which is amazing it's yeah. an amazing way to start as well yeah and what advice could you give to people looking to start or try to get into this field consistency uh, and it's hard to keep consistent while nobody's clapping uh, so you you must clap for yourself and uh, be your biggest fan in those I, times. I, I love how you said you must clap for yourself. <laughs> I should, I'm going to use a slogan now for myself. Um, but what are your future plans? What do you think of doing? I have a lot of dreams, of course, but for now I would love to establish Biblo Treats in Bahrain and also make it a um, well known pastry brand um, all over the world. So hopefully it will be. Hopefully it will <laughs> come true. And uh, do your kids actually like baking? Have, uh, has yeah. any of them gotten into it with you? Yes, yes, they love baking. Uh, my eldest. Um, she always said uh, she wants to be a baker. I'm not sure if she uh, means if she will change off. her mind now after seeing the hard work, but um, I, I think they love it. Yeah. Hopefully, good. So you can pass down the tradition as well at the same time. Like Hopefully. you said, it's always a memory. Um, yeah. Is there anything you'd like to add before we end the segment today? Just happy Ramadan. Uh, have a blessed month. And I'm I'm very excited actually. <laughs> I I will be ordering from you. That's oh, that is thank for you. Sure. That is for sure. Viewers, that was a delicious segment. Treat your Ramadan nights with Biblio Treats. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Wondering what your next Glam Ramadan look is going to be? How about a fashion consultant that can help you put together a great Ramadan look effortlessly? We have fashion consultant Zainab Mustafa here tonight to share her fashion journey and advice. Hi Zainab and welcome to our studio. Hi, thank you so much. So can you tell us what is fashion consulting and what got you into it? Thank you so much for interviewing me, first of all. It's a pleasure to be on Bahrain International TV. Welcome to our studio. It's a pleasure Thank having you. you here today. So basically, to answer your question, fashion consultant is where clients, they refer to fashion professionals for their suggestions, recommendations, and assistance at the same time. And here, when I talk about clients, I don't only mean the individuals, but also I mean groups or businesses. And uh, some of the clients, they hire like um, uh, uh, personal shoppers for a certain budget in order to do the shopping for them. Other clients, uh, they just schedule and like uh, a meeting with a fashion consultant to do uh, to get their opinion about what to wear what and to how wear, to how wear. How to mix and match because not everybody exactly. understands what colors to match mm -hmm. or let's say what suits their body type as well. That's exactly what I'm talking about today. So what to get me into this industry is when I saw the huge uh, uh, negative impact of social media into the fashion industry. Yeah. But here I'm not talking only about the negative impact. There is also a positive impact uh, of social media in this industry. But uh, uh, the negative impact is way more. And that's what got me in this, uh, in this industry. Uh, when the social media created this false fake image about fashion into women and let me specify women in, in fashion because we are talking in women today um, and put certain criteria about fashion for Correct. example 
you uh, you can't be fashionable if you don't have this uh, slim perfect body or uh, um, you can be fashionable if you don't follow a trends or buy a luxury brands uh, yeah i was gonna say yeah. as well you can't be fashionable mm -hmm. if you don't have this luxury bag or these yeah. luxury shoes so, so these standards exactly affect women and uh, reduce uh, for example uh, their self-esteem and their confidence and that affect the way she value and see herself as well um, so from that point i wanted to come up with a solution that uh, raised the fashion awareness into women and to start uh, understanding herself more to to know about her body shape and what suits her and what doesn't um, so i come up with um, because you know i want just to add something you cannot uh, also um be fashionable if you have a daily toxic habit as well right. so the more you feel uh, uh, good about yourself uh, comfortable and confident the more you can uh, uh, look fashionable uh, at the same time and you feel better in the clothes you wear when you're exactly. more confident you feel better in the clothes it makes you feel like yes i want to dress up more because that's feel right <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh we got a solution, we named it VASIS, it's a mobile application. VASIS stands for View and Create Your Shape Style. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be published very soon after Ramadan, inshallah. So this application basically helps women to understand her body shape. It's like, it acts as a, as a fashion consultant before shopping. Okay. So it's like a step ahead before shopping for women to give her an idea to determine her body shape. Um, and actually there are uh, five categories of body shapes based on a study. We have rectangular, uh, triangle, apple body shape, pure body shape, and hourglass. Yes. So yeah. every woman's body shape falls in one. It's completely different. Yeah. yeah. And every body shape is different in the way you style and you dress it. Uh, uh, after that, the woman, she can create her outfits, share the outfits she created with other women similar to her body shapes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, by the way, all the products included in that uh, in that uh, applications uh, are uh, real products, and they are available in Bahrain clothing stores. Okay, that's mm. amazing. That's a, that's Thank something you. very interesting and very different. Uh, very yeah, different it's a new what into the market. The moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Um, what do you usually help clients with, and how do you help them? So, as I mentioned, now with this application, we help them to. Uh, determine their body shape first because what suits me maybe it doesn't suit you and vice Correct. versa so it's really important to to know her body shape then after that she will view all the products inside that application can she speak to a consultant within the application just in case they want to of can course they yeah okay. they are most welcome to speak to a consultant either me or another one i advise to be me <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah so this is the way i wanted to come up to to gap or to to solve the problem problem of the negative impact of social media is by the raising the fashion awareness into women. Yeah, because like you said, social media is playing a very big impact very on a lot big of women impact, yes. about how it's affecting mm -hmm. them, like you said, with the fashion, with everything. Correct. It just, they look at yeah. everything wrong, Correct. in a negative vibe. Mm -hmm. um, how has your fashion sense evolved over the years, you would say? Over the years, um, of course, demonstrating a strong industry knowledge and commercial uh, awareness of fashion brands, uh, uh, trends and designers. And uh, industry knowledge uh, can help to utilize the product knowledge to advise customers, the clients with the new releases. And also as a fashion consultant and owning now this Vassis application, I have to be always up to date always. with the new product. Yeah. So I can update the applications with the new product that can help the customers. Which is of every course. day. Every day there's something new every happening. Day there every is day. Exactly. Also, um, um, attending uh, sometimes uh, events, uh, taking uh, courses. These all things will keep me keep stay up to date. Yeah, yeah what's with the happening industry. and all the new things that are you happening. You are right. Uh, what can you tell us? Are this year's do's and don'ts this Ramadan, and what are the latest trends? Well, basically, when it comes to Ramadan, jalabiya is the most essential Ramadan item for every woman. And uh, every woman, she wants to put her hands on that comfy and stylish jalabiya. And definitely, we can see an increase in demand during Ramadan due to the amount of events such as family obligations, friends gatherings, bazaars. So designers, they went beyond the traditional uh, uh, style of jalabiya, the wide dress that covered the, the whole body, the women's body 
already and start adding uh, layers for example uh, accentuating the chest area with accessories uh, using different fabrics like colorful fabrics and mixing fabrics at the same time mixing right. yeah. fabrics and also in Saudi Arabia I have uh, seen a lot of shumah fabrics at the yes. same time uh, about the dos and dots um, I have noticed a lot of designers unfortunately they raise their amounts into an unacceptable amount because they know every woman she wants to put her hand on that perfect jalabiya. So my advice to women is to um, know their designers and know the fabric, the quality of the of of what fabric. You're, and what yeah. you're paying for. So it's something correct. Exactly. The the yeah. yeah. But uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, designers worth to purchase. Um, about the trends, Ramadan trends this year, I saw a lot of designers going to design uh, Egyptian jalabiyas, Moroccan jalabiyas, and also Indian jalabiyas. Yes. So yeah. They have so, <laughs> there's so much detail in Details into the jalabiyas, and colorful. Yeah. 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 And so it makes it bright and vibrant. Exactly. What would you see is your next step in the industry? What are you looking at doing? Well, uh, for the right moment, um, since I am so busy with my application, which focus mainly on the outer beauty of the women, when we're talking about look, it means the outer beauty. But since I believe that inner beauty is as important as your outer, outer beauty. beauty, so I wanted, inshallah, in future, <coughs> to include services related to uh, enhance and develop the beauty from within. Like uh, the women, how she can uh, talk, how she can, uh, in, in, in a lady way, how she can think, how she can be more thankful. So those tools can keep women progressing and keep the balance between her inner and the outer, outer beauty. Because beauty. it becomes as a one whole. As a one whole, yeah. exactly. So. Uh, uh, as I said, you cannot be fashionable and fabulous if you have a daily toxic uh, habit. So it's really important to work from within. Within and then yes. bring it out. That's uh, what they yeah. always say inner beauty shows on the outside. It speaks about outside. Yeah. yeah. Um, who would you say is your inspiration? As a fashion consultant, As I'm, a I'm sure <laughs> there's so many inspirations. Well, there is no one uh, specifically, but let's say self-ambition. It's like the eager to keep you uh, accomplish things. Um, and the more uh, I read about those people who are full of inspiration, it gets me more excited and inspired. Uh, especially when those people have accomplished a lot and, and keep continuing pushing for more. Let's say the past as well, I find it as a, a source of inspiration because a lot of people, they see their past as a bad place and they don't like to go back and return to it. Correct. Very yeah. correct. Very correct. <laughs> a lot of people will agree about that. Other people, they still live in their past yeah. and their present um, action can reflect on that. But I advise women to see their past, even with the bad parts, as a, an uh, inspiration, source of inspiration and a challenge for them. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I do agree with <laughs> so that everybody just doesn't like to look at the past. We just like to <laughs> keep it in the back. Exactly. Um, what would you say are challenges you faced as a fashion consultant? Uh, when I decided to start this domain, the only challenge I faced is women, they don't like to be consulted. This is what I noticed. And they prefer to do their own shopping rather than going back to a fashion professional. Yes, because they so feel like I know what I want to wear. I exactly, know I look good in it. Yes. yes. <laughs> So I wanted to deliver my service to them. I want my service to reach their hands uh, using the application. It costs them nothing. It's free, of course. Um, I want them to, 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 to start learning to, be, to, uh, to do a quick consultation before shopping. So um, it was a challenge, but of course, whenever you have a challenge, you need to have a solution for it. Exactly, and mm -hmm. then without the challenge, it won't make you want to do it even more and No, more. no, yeah. it keeps you always uh, going out of your way in yeah, life. Exactly, it yeah. like pushes you more to do it. Now exactly. I have to do it, now I need these women <laughs> to see this application. Um, is there any, any last words you'd like to say before we end the segment today? Well, uh, first of all, I want to advise every woman to install and download Vasi's application. It will help her a lot. It's not only just a fashion consultant uh, application. It can work as a wardrobe organizer because as a woman, we all have this problem, what to wear tomorrow. Even if we, our cabinet is full of clothes. You still don't know what to wear. Well, what to wear. Well, I, I have one of those <laughs> see and I'm like, I don't have anything to wear. Exactly. But I can't, can't imagine, okay, let me mix this with this and this and this to make yeah. it into a new outfit. This is what you think before you I yeah. know. <laughs> and uh, recently I uh, read about uh, Matthew Huston. He is a journalist, sinus journalist uh, uh, working in uh, New York City. He said, what you wear 
ref uh, reflects uh, the way you are thinking and also your negotiation skills, even the level of hormones on your heart uh, rate. Yeah. So uh, also even the way you dress speaks a lot about your personality. Right. Yes, it does. Yeah, and another uh, scientific uh, studies show that um, there is a huge connection between what we wear and how we feel. So I wanted to say that um, a lot of clothes makes some people feel creative and uh, productive. Other clothes makes people they feel um, physically stronger. Yeah. And some other clothes makes other people consider us as uh, intelligent and unique. So it's really important to be aware about what you wear. Yeah, I agree with this completely because every mm -hmm. time a different outfit makes me feel completely different. You went through that. Yes, <laughs> I've been that, through that a lot. Yeah. Thank you, Zim. I cannot Thank wait you. to download your app. Of I'm course. actually very excited. I feel like I can share with other people of different course. outfits as well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Viewers, hope you enjoyed these fashion tips and advices. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of today's episode. Make sure you reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below on the screen for any inquiries. We love hearing from you. Thank you for watching and we will see you on another episode of Bahrain Now. Good night and God bless. I'm your host, Lara Sam'an. See you next time on Bahrain Now.